If we have two fractions, a over b plus or minus c over d, adding and subtracting them uses this rule. So in the in rule of adding and subtracting fractions, you simply multiply your denominator and multiply your diagonal for your numerator. So you have d times a, which is ad, and b times c, which is cb. And this is what we are going to use in adding and subtraction rational expressions in our examples today. So for number one, if I have 2 over x plus 3 over y, adding them is simply multiplying the denominator, which is xy, and multiplying its diagonals. So 2 times y is 2y, and 3 times x is 3x. And this will be my uh, sum for these two fractions. And for the second example, using this rule again, if I have 5y over x minus 2z over y, x times y is xy, y times 5y is 5y squared, and x times 2z is 2xz. Now they are being subtracted, that's why my sign here is subtraction. So that's how we add and subtract rational expression given rational expressions like this one. Now for this example, I have 2 over x plus 3 over x plus 2. Using my formula in adding or subtracting rational expressions or fractions, I am simply multiplying my denominator, that's why I have x times x plus 2, and multiply my diagonals. So x plus 2 times 2 is 2 times x plus 2, and x times 3 is giving me 3x. Now this expression right here can still be simplified. We can use the distributive property in simplifying this term and also in my denominator. And by doing so, 2 times x will give me 2x, and 2 times 2 will give me 4. And for my denominator, x times x is x squared, and x times 2 is 2x, leaving my 3x right here, which I can simplify by combining like terms. So my final answer will be the sum of 2x and 3x, which is giving me 5x, and 4 will stay behind because there's nothing to combine it with. And for my denominator, it's also the same. There's nothing more to simplify. So my final answer will be 5x plus 4 all over x squared plus 2x. Now, if you'll notice in my examples right here, all my denominators are the same. And when you're adding or subtracting fractions with the same denominator, you simply copy your denominator and then add or subtract your numerator. And that's what we're going to use in these examples. So for number two, if I have 5 over 3x minus 9 over 3x, since they have the same denominator, my denominator will also be 3x in my answer. Now 5 minus 9 will give me negative 4, so my final answer will be negative 4 over 3x. Same thing with number 3. They have the same condition because they have same denominator. So copy the denominator, which is 2x plus 1, and add your numerator, will give you 2x plus 5x. And since 2x and 5x can be combined because they are like terms, your final answer will be 7 over 2x plus 1. So always make sure that you are simplifying your rational expression before you leave your answer. Now for number 4, I have 12x squared all over x times y plus 3 minus 4x squared all over x times y plus 3. And in this expression, I'm still using the same rule that I did for 2 and 3. I'm copying my denominator and adding my numerator. So I have 12x squared minus 4x squared. Now, since my numerator are like terms, I can still combine them. So 12 minus 4 will give me 8x squared all over x times y plus 3. Now, if you'll notice, they still have x's in both numerator and denominator, and we can cancel my x right here, which will leave me with 1x in my numerator by simplifying the expressions. So my final answer for this problem will be 8x all over y plus 3.